Good morning, everybody. I've got to shave so bad. I am so itchy. I'm up bright and early this morning. My dad's going to be coming over in probably about an hour or so, and I didn't want him to wake me up with a phone call. So I rolled out of bed about 6.30. It's just about 7 now. It's not even light out yet. But he's going to be coming over, and we're still trying to get that upstairs organized and uh, get all our eBay stuff in order. He's been up in my attic building shelves. We've just been moving a lot of stuff around up there. So as soon as I get all that done, I will show you that again. But um, I had to tell you this absolutely crazy dream that I had. I've told you guys before, I just have these absolute crazy dreams. So a lot of times I have to watch what I watch before I go to bed. I used to watch scary movies all the time, and then I would have to flip through and watch something like like figure skating before I went to bed so it would kind of calm my mind and so that when I went to bed I'd have something else on my mind than what I just watched. <sighs> um, <laughs> and I don't even know how I came across this, if it was a suggestion on YouTube or what it was. I love Dave Chappelle. And his comedy is just so hilarious. I've talked about him before. But somehow this thing popped up on my screen about, uh, you know, the whole Illuminati thing. And this was all about Dave Chappelle being cloned. Because if you guys remember, um, like, I don't know how many years ago, 10 years ago maybe, he was offered $50 million to do a third season of The Chappelle Show, and he disappeared. He just disappeared. Nobody knew where he went. Nobody knew why he went. And uh, it's still kind of a shaky story to this day. But it turns out he went to Africa uh, just to kind of clear his head and get away from things that were happening in Hollywood. He walked away from that $50 million contract. And he just recently signed a $60 million contract with Netflix. So he has a handful of new... Uh, stand-up specials on Netflix. So that has sparked a bunch of these conspiracy theories about him being cloned. Um, if you remember, he used to be just this stick-thin little guy, and now he is built. And uh, so they're using, like, side-by-side -side comparisons, saying this is the real Dave and this is, you know, the clone Dave. And then they're showing things where, like, he went on to The Tonight Show or something wearing a really long shirt that looks like a dress. And that was one of the things he was always against. Producers trying to get him to wear a dress because he said every black man in the movies at some time in their career is forced to wear a dress in their movie. And he refused to do that. And then he shows up on this show, you know, recently in this long shirt that looks like a dress. And it really does look like a dress. Way too ridiculous to be a shirt. Then you see pictures of him, like, flashing the 666 and things like that. You know, all these Illuminati signs. But, uh, but somehow I got caught up in watching this. And I watched for, man, like two or three hours while I was sitting here working. And that's what I had on my mind when I went to bed. I had these dreams, these nightmares that I honestly, I wish I would have turned on the camera and started talking then because I cannot remember what it was about. I just remember that, oh, okay, wait a minute. I remember bits and pieces of it. Like, I was with Dave Chappelle. He had written something down on a piece of paper, then taken that piece of paper because he realized he was going to have to get rid of it because if anybody saw it, then whatever, whatever. He took the piece of paper, he crumpled it up, and then to get rid of it, he stuck it in a two-liter bottle. And then he crunched up the two-liter bottle and put the lid on, but then he had to figure out where to dispose of this two-liter bottle so that nobody would find this thing that he had written down. And dreams are weird. In this dream, I was kind of Dave Chappelle, I guess. It was weird. But I was experiencing whatever this fear was that he was experiencing. So I woke up out of a dead sleep, so paranoid out of my head, and I'm just laying here, like, shaking, and I could feel the blood coursing through my veins, and it was scary. I didn't want to go back to sleep because I didn't want to get caught up in that same dream again. Even though you know it's not real, it feels so real. So I had to just lay there and talk myself down, and I got up, and I, I had a couple drinks of water, you know, went to the bathroom, and I laid back down and, and just looked at some other things on Facebook or wherever. 
and eventually got myself calmed down to where I could fall back asleep and I was okay. But it was just so crazy that I would watch that and then go to bed with that on my mind <laughs> and just have these crazy nightmares. Now, I'm also going to say, if you guys have not seen any of this stuff, it's not something I watch all the time, but I do watch it sometimes. The conspiracy theory stuff is really interesting to me. And when you're talking about celebrity clones, there are a lot of videos on YouTube about these clones glitching. And there's like, there's one of Eminem where while he's being introduced, he's just kind of standing there looking into dead space like for the longest time. And then he eventually snaps into it and he starts talking. There are a bunch of them like that with, with different celebrities. But one of them that gets me every time is Al Roker. You have got to see this. They're standing outside broadcasting. Uh, Matt Lauer is one of the people. Al Roker. And then there's a woman. I can't think of her name. She's in the middle. And she says something about the Holy Ghost. And as soon as she says that, it's almost like that is a trigger word. Because Al Ro <laughs> <laughs> because then Al Roker snaps into this weird thing where he just goes and he stares at the camera for like a minute straight. I mean, without blinking, without moving, he's just dead still with that look on his face. I don't know. What do you guys think about all that stuff? What do you think about celebrity cloning? What do you think about human cloning? What do you think about the Illuminati? Do you think that stuff exists in Hollywood? Do you think that all these celebrities and the rappers and the movie stars and everybody are controlled by this Baphomet thing. I don't really know what I believe, but it definitely makes for something interesting to watch. So that's what I have on my mind this morning. And uh, that's probably what I'm going to be thinking about all day long while I work on eBay. <laughs> you guys tell me what you think about this stuff. Tell me down below in the comments if there's any really, really, really super crazy videos that you think I should see that are related to any of this stuff. Wherever you're waking up or whatever time it is, make the best of your day. Do something for somebody else. Pay it forward. Stay away from the Illuminati. And let's make this world a better place. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.